Hello and thanks very much for joining me again. Uh, this week's river pattern is uh, Jeremy Lucas's plume tip. Um, it's, a, it's a very small dry fly which he uses to great effect. Um, so in the vise, if you can just about see it, this is a Hanak H130 barbless hook and it's at size 20. Now this is um, about as small as I go uh, with tying and with fishing and it, it's mostly to do with the fishing side of life because when I'm by the river, even with the glasses and stuff, I can't see a, a fly to tie it on much smaller than this. So this is about as small as I get. So, size 20. I think Jeremy prefers a size 19 Tiemco hook, but I'm not sure, you would have to ask him. The thread I'm using here is the E09 Vivas. It's an 8 thread, and as you can see, it's a very pale yellow colour. And first thing I'm going to do is get plenty of wax onto my thread. And I'm just going to rub my fingers through that. So what happens is I'm generating heat here and it just helps the wax bed in. So I've not got big clumps of wax on, on my hook when I'm tying the thread on. So I'm going to catch it in about a millimetre back from the eye of the hook and just get a couple of turns on. Now, my rat's tail, I've left it fairly long because I'm going to use that for the ribbon later on. So I'm going to come back up here. And as the name suggests, plume tip, I'm going to use a couple of uh, CDC feathers. These are the Hanak ones. And I've already pre-selected a couple of, a couple of um, feathers. Now, I want to use the tips, so I want to marry them up as best I can, bring everything as close to the edge as you can. Now, lengthwise, I don't want it to be any longer than the body of the fly, really. So I'm going to catch that in with a pinching loop and then just gently ease it back to where I want it, like so. I'm going to move everything back, put one turn in front and then come back and catch that in, like so. Okay, now I don't want to cut this straight, I'm going to cut it at an angle so I can get a tapered body and just remove your waist. If it wasn't for the size of the fly, this would be a really quick tie, you know, if you were tying this in a 16 or a 14 even, um, you would be doing it no problem at all but because it is small it can be a little bit fiddly and, and that's the challenge with this fly so the body I'm using this it's a this is a heron feather now unfortunately you can't buy heron it's um, it's not available in shops the buds are protected so you've got to either be lucky enough to stumble across a feather on the bank or uh, rely on, like I have, the generosity of others um, getting getting your feather. So I've already selected um, a few strands. I've got maybe three or four strands of the heron feather here. Now you can see there's a band and a colour on this feather. So you can decide wh what you would like colour-wise. So I'm going to be fairly normal so at the end it will start to darken up as I get towards the thorax area. So I'm going to catch that in now. Like so. Come all the way back up to just where my CDC starts at the head of the fly. Now I'm going to bring the hair and fibres towards myself. It's, it's more robust than you would think, the heron. It's uh, fairly easy to work with. And once I've got up to the top here, I'm going to just catch that in like so. Again, at this point, I'm going to sweep everything back with my thumb and forefinger and just bring my thread to the eye of the hook. 
So before I bring up my rib, I'm going to come in and remove my waist. So I've got my uh, my ribbon feather here, and as I brought my feather towards myself, the rib is going to go in the opposite direction. Fairly straightforward. And once I've got it there, I can then bring my actual thread just over to catch that rib, rib thread in. I'm going to sweep the whole thing back and catch it with a couple of turns at the front. Then I can come in with my snips. Careful not to cut your plume tip and just remove that excess thread. Okay, to finish off, I'm going to add the slightest amount of UV to my thread. Sweep it all back one, two turns, and then a half hitch just to finish that off. And once I've got my half hitch in, I can come in, and there's hardly any UV, so it'll only take a second to cure. And trim away my thread. Now, I know it doesn't look much, um, but this is a, a fish killer, really. It's, um, it's fantastic. It's not for quick water, though. It doesn't work very well in heavy water, but on the canally type stretches of rivers that you get sometimes, this can be super effective and it works best in the smaller sizes. So there you go, Jeremy Lucas's plume tip. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching and if you're a new subscriber, uh, I look forward to seeing you back here again. That's how to do it.